Before we start anything, I would like to address PETA. This is fake fur. No Wookiees were harmed in the making of it. The worst crime here is probably that they've used a whole lot of cotton and plastic to create it. So just a little disclosure before you start throwing paint on me. Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you guys so much for being with us today. I'm really excited. Um, we're going to do an eye look with a palette that I have had for a while but have not used. So it is a first impressions. I did haul it for you guys, so I haven't had it for like a year. I just had it for like a month or so. But it's one that I'm not really sure about. Uh, like I said, one of the other beauty YouTubers in the community that I follow, she addressed this palette and she said that um, she was kind of disappointed with it. I was really excited when they first introduced it. It is the Venus XL 2 palette. Um, the original Venus XL is one of my favorites. It's a lot of reds and pinks. It's very beautiful, uh, really into my color scheme. But I felt like this is actually kind of like a really nice fall palette, surprisingly. I think it was released around springtime, but when you look at the colors, there's a lot of deep browns and kind of greens and stuff that I think you could make work for a fall eye look. Um, so I decided I would go ahead and test it out today. Um, her biggest complaint, was in this palette which has 18 shades there are one two three four really what i would call four and a half matte shades which is almost it's like the world's worst challenge uh trying to create a really good cohesive eye look that isn't murky and you can blend with with only um four eye shades four or being four matte shades i say four and a half because obscure is almost matte but i think there's just like a touch of shimmer in it so i think you could kind of work it in as like a matte color but it, it would be a challenge so i'm going to challenge myself today to create a really nice eye look for fall utilizing this palette and we'll see how i like it how i respond to it um i did get it on sale so i didn't pay it's normally a 65 dollar palette um that is why i waited so long to purchase it because i was not about to pay 65 dollars for a palette that i probably will use very infrequently as you can tell, I already have used it infrequently, so. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with Classical, which is the really deep, deep, dark matte shade that's all the way at the tippy corner on the right-hand side. And I'm gonna use that as like an outer corner shade just to give it a little bit of darkness to start. Uh, sometimes, most of the time, I start with lighter shades and then blend into a, a darker shade. Um, I'm gonna do the opposite today just because I want to see how this looks. It actually is holding very nicely. It's a pretty color. Um, honestly, do I think I have like probably about eight palettes that have a shade similar to this one? Yeah, I do. That I probably could pull out like real quick without even trying too hard and find a decent match to it. But honestly, if you want my opinion, this palette, if you're going to invest in it, I would recommend investing in it like you would the Moon Dust palette from Urban Decay or one of the All Shimmer palettes because the shimmer shades in here are really, really pretty. Hopefully they apply well. Um, if they apply well, then I would say it'll probably be worthwhile to have it in your collection if you are um, a makeup collector or makeup, you know, enthusiast or guru, whatever terminology you would like to use for yourself. But if you're like me and you have quite a few palettes and quite a few different things, but you always are looking for new things to add to it, it may be a good um, accent just for the shimmers. So we'll see how that works. Um, I do like the shade. It's really pretty. It is like a nice kind of like dark outer corner eye color. Um, so I'm actually going to go in now with Ripe, which is a nice um, kind of lighter brown shade up at the top. And it is also one of the mattes. And I'm just going to kind of blend into my crease. They play really well together, those two shades. Um, very, very cohesive. The blending seems almost seamless um, in terms of getting that darker shade to work into... The lighter shade and work into my skin so i'm a fan of that i am a little worried i am planning on doing a second video going off of this eye look after this and i made i might have made the shading a little bit too dark to make that work so we'll see i probably should not have used the deepest darkest shade but you know what i was like we're going for it and we went for it and now here we are so um it does match my vest really well too it's like that browns the browns a. I really actually am a big fan of these so far um there is a good amount of fallout on the pan um, you know, that's like one of the things that I always look for. It's not terrible. Like I've had worse, but it, it's there. So I, I will point that out. Um, and then I'm going to go in with Sage, which is a very lovely green color, obviously by the name Sage, it makes sense, but it's a light, um, almost kind of pastel-y pink, I mean pink, uh, green. And I'm going to use that just above 
this one just to give it a little bit of color. I don't want to overwhelm it with green because I'm wearing blue today, but I think just like the subtle hint of it will kind of play off that blue that I am wearing. I'm not normally super concerned with making my eye makeup clash. I kind of will just wear whatever I want to wear on my eyes and, you know, people can just deal with it. But I do sometimes try and make it look at least like it fits what I'm wearing. I'm now gonna go in with my lower lash line and I always pull out my brushes and try not have to reach my makeup bag, but of course I forgot my lower lash brush, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna go in with classical, that same dark brown, and I'm gonna go under my eye on the lower lash line just to darken it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take Sage, the green one, and I'm gonna go under and blend it out. You know, I'm liking, um, I'm liking what has come out so far. I will say, I think to... <sighs> this is not going to be a very versatile palette if you're using just this. If you're mixing it with another palette, it will work probably pretty well because it gives you a lot of options in terms of your shimmers. But if you're looking to just um, use this one, there's only a couple eye looks that I think you could create effectively. Um, that's my own personal opinion. People might disagree. But that would be what I would say that would be the biggest issue here. Um, I am going to go in with In Bloom, which is the last matte pink shade. And I'm just going to use that finally as like a little bit of like a... I don't know how to explain it other than like I want to use it as like a crease definer. Because there's a little bit of like pulling, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Where sometimes the makeup kind of pulls and you can see these white lines where your skin's still showing through. And this actually, the shade did a wonderful job of taking those away. So, big fan of that. Okay. I am going to, off camera now, do a little bit of uh, concealer and get like a nice little mini cut crease going on. And then once we get that working, I will pick out whichever shade I decided to do. I have not quite figured it out just because there is such a plethora of shimmer shades. And we'll figure that out together and then um, we'll see how it, it looks and how I like it. So stay tuned. Okay, so I got them cleaned up a little bit. Um, that actually took a lot of the darkness away, which I'm very excited about. I think that means that the next video will work. Trying to figure out what color I want to do now is going to be an issue. I'm going to show you guys one more time. I think right now I'm debating between Crown, Myth, and Eve. Um, Eve is the really pink one. Myth is the yellow, I mean the yellow, the green uh, shimmer one. And then Crown is the, the lighter peachy pink one. I think my safest bet is probably going to be Crown because it's the most neutral and um, Myth and Eve may clash with what I'm wearing and since we were talking about that and how I wanted to kind of make that not happen, we're going to go with the um, with Crown just because better safe than not safe, I guess. But yeah, I just totally convinced myself that's what I was going to do right there. Huh. 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 I am not going to lie to you guys. This is a little patchy. It's a little friggin' patchy. And it's not really um, all that noticeable. Like, it's there, but it's almost, like, clear. Like, I can't explain. It's almost like I took, like, clear glitter gel and just put it on top of my eyelid. That's a little disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, if this, if the argument here is the redeemability of this palette is the versatility of the glitter shades and how many glitter shades you can get from it, uh, this is not applying that great, honestly. It's just, um, for a $65 palette, their formula should be better. All right, well, um, that didn't work, so I'm actually, I'm going to go in with Myth, which is the green one, and I'm gonna try and do just a little bit on top of this to try and give it some sort of dimension, because I really honestly feel like there's just nothing there. It kind of looks just like my concealer with some glitter spackled on it, so. All right, that one's better. That one actually is a lot better. So yeah, don't like Crown. That's disappointing because Crown was really, really pretty in the pan, but like it just, it was kind of chunky pulling up and it, it didn't want to get on the brush and it didn't, maybe if I use my finger next time, maybe that will help it. I don't know. Overall, not, uh, not a fan of that color. Just being honest. Just being a uh, 10,000% honest with you guys. Uh, but I do like Myth. Um, it's actually not super green and um, I think it'll it'll work well. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and I'll add mascara and then um, we'll see the final look. Overall, um, I got it on sale, like I said. Would I purchase this palette if it were on sale again to like put in a giveaway for you guys? No, I wouldn't because it's not one of my favorites. And the only time I'm going to purchase palettes to give to you guys is, is if I think that they're really quality and really worthwhile. 
um, unless they were giving this to me for like five bucks. And I was like, well, you know, it's a $5 palette. So here you go. Um, I probably would not purchase it again. And I probably wouldn't purchase it again for myself. And if my friends and family asked if they should buy it, I'd probably say no, if I'm being honest. I love Lime Crime as a brand. I really genuinely do. Um, their highlighters are some of my favorite. The Venus XL um, Original is one of my favorite uh, eyeshadow palettes to date. But this one I think was just a really big miss for their company. Um, I think it has a lot of great potential and I think it has a lot of great shades. And if they were to make a um, similar color scheme with a more matte dominant palette base, I would probably purchase that one. But yeah, overall, not bad. Not worth 65 bucks. I'm glad I didn't pay 65 for it. I don't remember what I paid. I think I paid like 29 or something. But maybe I paid a little bit more than that. Maybe it was like 35. We'll get the mascara all finished up here. And you guys can see how it looks with that. And then we'll call it a day. Um, just like for a little side note too, I am wearing one of the Lime Crime highlighters today. It is the Unicorn palette. It's the green shade mixed with the lighter pink shade. Um, I thought that would go well with the colors that were uh, offered in this particular palette. Um, and I always like using like brands for this kind of stuff. So I did do that. I did it off camera before we started filming just because it's a lot easier if I have all my base and stuff done and I'm not worried about it. Ah, oh, ah, oh, hit myself. Dang mascara wand. But I did want to let you guys know that I had that on as well. And like I said, that's one of my favorites. That is currently one of the staples in my, um, my makeup case. So it's one of the ones I've been using pretty frequently. You guys know that I like to change out my makeup case as frequently as I, I can so that I make sure that a lot of my um, makeup gets circulated. And I'm not just using the same like two or three palettes for six months. Um, I try and change it out probably every couple weeks, maybe every month. Um, so I just changed it out about two weeks ago and uh, I've been using that one a pretty good amount. So, all right, so this is the final product. Um, this is how it's looking. It's it's not bad, I look. Um, I think it matches kind of the aesthetic that I'm going for today. Kind of like woodsy feeling with my, you know, fur coat that's, you know, neutral colored. But I just don't think that the palette is, um, worth what they are trying to charge for it. Um, unfortunately, I don't like giving bad reviews for stuff. It's not a bad review. It's just kind of like a don't do it review, if that makes sense. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I really like doing these kind of videos and you guys know that because it's what we post a lot of. Once again, thank you guys so much for your continued support. We are growing so incredibly quickly. I can't even begin to describe how excited we are to see how, how much the page is blowing up at this quick of a rate. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and always say girly with a dark twist.